it's great. It looks like you're really enjoying your last year of the uh, presidency. Um, saw you hanging out uh, with NBA players like Steph Curry, Golden State Warriors. That was cool. That was cool, yeah. You know, it kind of makes sense, too, because both of you like raining down bombs on people from long distances, right? Yeah, I'm sure. What? Am I wrong? What? <laughs> Speaking of drones, how is Wolf Blitzer still on television? <laughs> Ask a follow-up question. Good <laughs> Hey, Wolf, I'm ready to project tonight's winner. Anyone that isn't watching the Situation Room. Oh, it's <laughs> No, all right, oh, fine, I like Wolf. There are so many rich, powerful people in this room. You know, it's nice to finally match the names to the faces in the Panama Papers. It's very nice, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? MSNBC, MSNBC here tonight? No? Which uh, actually now stands for missing a significant number of black correspondents. <laughs> Am I wrong? It... <laughs> but 2016 has been a beast, though, man. We lost David Bowie, Merle Haggard, Prince, or as Hillary Clinton calls it, my favorite singer, my favorite singer, my favorite singer. <laughs> oh, okay. Bernie's been hanging around with uh, rapper Killer Mike, um, or as Hillary Clinton calls him, Super Predator Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hillary Clinton was flustered when a Black Lives Matter protester challenged her. Man, whew. I haven't seen a white lady that upset over being blindsided by a black person since Kelly Ripa. Oh, I just got a note from the president uh, saying that if you want another drink, you should order it now because the bar will be closing down. Uh, of course, he said the same thing about Guantanamo, so you have at least another eight years. So. <laughs>